Hello guys, this is a young lady. Um, about um, somebody that asked me to make um phone uh, modeling tutorial. This is it. So uh, let's get on to business. I first moved um the image that I want to use as reference. I moved it in, and um um on, in the top view, then I created a, a cube. Then go to um, wireframe alone so that I can readjust and make it the size of um, the phone so you not be angry so I want it to be fast so anyway I'm making I'm not making a big deal I will just either cut it off or um, increase it like um, speed it up so that is exactly what I will be doing so um, I want to make um, the side of the phone also so that is why I imported this and then I'll rotate it to um, 180 um, so that I can readjust it and um, scale it up so I want to check the the value of the scale I used for the first one then copy it and paste it to the second one so that it will be of the same size so I readjusted it so that um, I can have the same thing with um, with um, the scaling of um, the other part of the uh, the other part of the image so I'm trying to add it to I tried to add you know, add it to uh, what's it called the 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 display um, layer there so I'm selecting the the edges so that I can um, bevel it so I'll select the um, edges then bevel the edge and make it um, curve the way the phone is actually curved so I'm trying to uh, make it curve now using the parameters of um, the bevel so I think it's cool now so I think I love it now so I can select um, go back to object mode then go to face mode select the face then um, extrude it then I can scale it um, down I meant to scale it down using offset so um, I'll scale it down yes so down using offset so yeah I think it's cool that way so now I can um, re um, extrude it again then bring it down so um, I'm having the the yes I think that is cool that is exactly what I want so um, that's fine yes so go to um, line um, edge mode select the edges inside no not really inside the outside edges double click on it so that it can select everything then bevel it again so that we have smooth edges for that so um, if I um, think it's cool now yes that's fine um, I'm just trying to make it uh, smooth I don't want to have the sharp edge you know the phone I'm using the reference I'm using doesn't have sharp edge at that place so I'm trying to readjust it well so that is exactly what I'm doing trying to you know try and error all those kind of things um, if this one doesn't work this one will work that is exactly what I, I, I'm doing so going to object mode you can see that we are getting closer um, little by little so I'm trying to hide um, the reference so that we can see what is next I think the next thing now is to make the the, the, the whole Get to make the O uh, in the necessary places, you know, uh, like um, the button, um, the volume button, and the um, and the power button. So that is what we are trying to do now. So using the reference now, I'm trying to align the cube, the new cube I just created. I'm trying to align it with that. So I think that is exactly what I want. So I'm just going to um, make it well and then um, select the edges yes i'm trying to scale it normal then select the edges go to line select the edges then bevel it then um, we go back to top view so that we can see it clearly um i'm trying to you know um using the bevel i'm trying to just try to make it curve as it is in the in the um reference video that uh, reverence picture that we're using sorry i'm saying jargons 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 i just woke up and i'm trying to you know get it uploaded um today sunday so i, I was supposed to upload it yesterday but 
you know light this is nigeria so we have light issue electricity issue so that is why so i duplicated this and take it to the um epis yes the epis the phone epis then i just did it by scaling 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 so that it can look exactly like that so du duplicate again they take it to the flashlight the front camera flashlight that is it so um scale it down yes then scale it to to fit the shape of um the flash um, um then create a key take uh, no cylinder yes i just created the cylinder now so i can um hard more division so that it would have a higher quality than um, the way it is when you first created it and the first uh, the cap subdivision cap so i just turned that one to zero so i don't really need that so we don't need that so uh, uh pretty much that is um those things that we need so i created another cube to make uh, a charging port um yes that is what i created now so um let's readjust it if you notice very well you can see that the the, the phone actually is sitting on the 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 ground level you get but we still readjust that to to, to be at the center of the origin so at the zero origin that is what we try and do so i will not move any of these things i'm creating i will not move them so i'm trying to rotate this one about 90 degrees so that it can face the normal direction because we are actually imputing it or we are taking it into the phone so that it can chop off the phone that is exactly what we are doing so now trying to duplicate those things so that i can um, in case uh, I, i'm done chopping i can still use those shapes for another thing in, in, in case of um, the volume and the power button you know after chopping that point i'll still need to use the duplicated ones to as the button the actual button if you you get what i'm saying you get it in just a bit so i created the cylinder now then um had subdivision and re remove the cap so this one i want to use it for um the mouthpiece yes mouthpiece you get that's a tiny hole where where whatever we say enters the phone then send to um the receiver so that is what i'm trying to make here so everything um all these small small stuff um shapes that i'm creating i will use them to actually create our chop um the places where we need um to 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 to, to create the shape on the phone so that the phone will actually look um like a phone if you know what i'm saying so uh now let's just fit everything together then um uh, yes i think it's fine here yes it's fine here so i'm trying to select every bit of that piece pieces then um we we'll, um go to edit mesh or mesh then combine everything together to make it one then i'll select the phone at the actual phone then those pieces then i would um indifference or difference or you you know what i'm saying the boolean whatever to just select difference sorry that it's a bit faster i want to compress it you can actually pause if you're not getting anything so so that it will make sense so i bevel the the, the face here then increase the you get the, the the um the coughness of the the the, the side i don't know what i'm saying so let's move it in uh, we might not later need um the other ones the duplicated ones we just need to duplicate this one then move it around so let's check our reference um yeah from the back i can actually um i want to kind of scale it down small so that we can see that yes it's actually inside it's not yes i think it's fine like that yeah, it's cool like that so i just need to duplicate this one then move it down to the other side then um readjust it by scaling it to to fit that hole i think it's fine that way um yeah yeah it's fine so i can delete the other one here it's not um necessary again it's, it's it's useless now so um this i can delete it also then select the faces inside then bring it up a bit so that it's it's not too so, you know it's too deep i don't know how to put that so um the uh, mouthpiece that i created the other time so i just rotate it 
to create the earpiece you know that those holes that are in there you, you get what i'm saying so uh, i'll bring it down yes then um, it's too much take it to the center of um that i'm using the line to you know just know this now duplicate by pressing ctrl d for the first time then z um shift d for everything now i will combine everything together then um select the phone but before then let me there is something that is always inside them the charging ports so that is what will actually fit um the charger you're using if you know what i'm saying android users yes you should know what i'm saying android users that is what i'm say, i'm trying to make now when it gets there you would uh, know what i'm trying to make so um yes that is it i want it to fit inside so that is yes you can see now what i'm trying to make now so yeah a bit yeah I think it's fine that way so now i can um select the phone then select um the whole so that i can use it to create the uh, more like the speaker of the earpiece you know when you're calling so that is what you hear you can see what i'm saying now so that is exactly what uh, i was trying to make and that is what we actually have it's cool that way that is what we want so now i want to select um the edges um, down the uh, other place uh, at the uh, tip of that um, speaker and make it curve. So I'll select that and deselect the ones I don't um, want. I think I selected this one mistakenly. So let me just remove that one. Yeah, so I am left with that one. I will just bevel it then to have a curve. So, yes, I think I, I would adjust it um, the way I, I have been doing. So, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, something like that or not but think it's fine that way so let's go to um, phone so um, let's uh, try to you know save it so that we don't have any issue at the end of the day you know, stories are touched no 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 so um, I created a, a, a sphere then I will move it down to that um, the camera front camera please then um, hard edges um, subdivision to it so then make it fit into that um spot yes something like that then scale it down like scale it more down so that it will fit in that place then i can uh, go to face mode then um select the faces down then delete them they are not necessary they are useless that's not what i want so go to face mode then uh, move it down to to something like that yeah to something like that so i can yeah um select the edges um of that um that place to that speaker to then um yes the edges like that on select this one i don't need this one now bevel so if i bevel i think uh, i can just yes yes it's fine that way then i can go to object mode select the sphere and uh, scale it down scale it down then move it up i think i can um do it more scale it up a bit you get what i'm saying yeah yeah that's that's more like it i can delete this one now it's not necessary again i i don't really need it so i'll go to face mode select the face below then um scale it um extrude it so i can extrude it and then select the edges yes i duplicated it i want to have um like more like a back phone a back cover you know that back that you used to cover your, your 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 battery that's exactly what i'm trying to make now so i'll just select that go to um, object mode then i um, more like move it up yeah just to have the back cover now i can go to face mode select that face and extrude it because from the reference i, I don't really have the phone but i think it's something like what i'm trying to make now so it's not really flat like that so i can select um the edges the edges of um, the phone like that then bevel to yes let's bevel it then um we adjust the value to fit in what i want yeah yeah it's fine it's fine that way i think i love it this way yes that's more like what i was saying when i was saying the reference so i can delete the ref uh, the history now so i think um let's also readjust this one like bevel the edges of this one to select the two edges you know like that then bevel then 
just make it smooth or smoother yeah yes no 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 something like that yes it's fine go to object mode i think it's fine so i can take this one to its position back so i need um i also need um glass the glass for the screen glass you, you, you if you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna duplicate that and um, move it up so um, yes so let's move it up then delete the unnecessary part just to have a flat you know plain um object so that if you get what i'm saying so that we can make it a glass so that's more like it that's the glass to cover the phone face if you know what i'm saying so um we are getting um closer to the end of the tutorial so um what i would do now is select this guy then rename it turn it to glass so that i would know that yes this is the glass so i can hide it now so that i can see the